If you're here today, it's because you're part of a growing number of folks who are recognizing that things need to change if our economy is ever going to return to some sense of normalcy. If you're here today, it's because you believe in yourself, your friends, and your neighbors to be part of the re-strengthening of Maine's middle class. If you're here today, it's because you reject the notion that the United States has to change its place in the world in order to meet the changes of the world. I am with you, but I am also here because of the young man who grew up in a place where people work unimaginably hard their entire lives. I learned just how badly people like us need to make sure our voices are here, heard here in these halls. When a group of my fellow Allagash loggers and I came here in the 1990s, we saw how unfair the system can be to folks who are just trying to do the best they can for them and their families. The fact of the matter is simple. People who work for a living deserve action and respect from those who exist beneath this dome and behind these stairs. So to everyone on minimum 
wage, we say to you, don't let anyone tell you you've done wrong because 750 an hour isn't enough. Don't let anyone tell you it's your fault that 750 an hour doesn't buy two gallons of gas, even though it takes you four gallons of gas to get to work. And don't let anyone, and don't let anyone tell you you're a bum. Because even after putting in every hour, you could. You don't know how you'll be able to afford the mortgage on your home that's been to your family for centuries. Don't let anyone tell you you're a bottom feeder because you couldn't find a second job and you had to stop at a food pantry because you had five or six miles at home to feed. Don't let anyone tell you you're lazy when you put your children to bed at night and you feel guilty that you haven't put anything in, into their college loan program because you were sick or your wife was sick and you didn't have health insurance and $7.50 an hour wasn't enough to cover the bills. $7.50 an hour isn't enough for anyone. There's nothing that we can't do right here in Maine if we allow Maine to get back to work. I see a future where industries of our past are revived to complement the markets and jobs of our future. Maine is an extraordinary state. It's defined by exceptional people and we're not going to let anyone tell us different anymore. We need to make sure that the ladder of opportunity is there for everyone in the state of Maine.